All right, guys, your annex is totally inflated and so is your camper trailer. The next step now is to get the shape and make it look nice. The straps on the floor, you pick those up and they come through to the back. On the back side of this, you will find another peg clip and a loop. The peg goes through the loop and it loops down at the back. Your clip then comes through and simply clips up and will give you the shape of your annex. This will tell you exactly where your poles need to be. You've got your pole in position vertically. Now we're looking for the lateral shape of the camper trailer annex. So you take the other strap that's there and you find the loop on your corner. You pull your poles out to level and you put it on the ground. You take your guy rope at the same time, that comes down and is gonna peg through the same loop. For this purpose, we're gonna use a sandbag. You bring your strap back to the rear pole and it clips in. After that, all we need to do is peg out this rear pole. For that, you're gonna use your peg ladders. To attach your peg ladder to any pole on your camper trailer, you simply find the corresponding grey clip on the base of the pole, take your peg ladder and clip it in. You can then run your peg through any loop that you so desire. For that, we use and recommend the Easy Anchor pegs. Everything you've just done down this end to give your annex the shape, you simply mirror down the other end. The centre strap, we'll come back to that in a little while. First, if you're going to use your draft skirt, We'll attach that at this point now. To attach your draft skirt, you simply pull the legs of your doors out, peel the straps off the back, and Velcro them through. Exactly the same procedure for the other side. You'll find it on the back, peel it off, and clip it up. I always store the draft skirt just inside the door. Makes it easy to grab, quick and nice. Unfold your draft skirt, find the right sides, and what we're looking for is the zip lines. To attach your draft skirt, there's a zipper underneath this side. You simply zip it up, down through this way, and seal the Velcro tabs back across. After that, we're gonna zip it up on the opposite side. Same procedure again. Find your zip line, other end. And zip it through. From here, to get the best shape, you need to seal around the door first. If you seal in your ends, it will pull up through this hinge and you'll have trouble opening your door. So, we simply get our Velcro, we start at the bottom, get the shape you're looking for, and Velcro it across. Then you Velcro your door back over the top. Repeat the procedure for the other side. Velcroing your door back across. We then simply Velcro in the ends. You will find this tab comes up, and underneath here, and then we seal straight in down through the Velcro line. We do the same again at the other end. We take our Velcro line, we put our tab up, and we seal it down through. This is gonna give you the perfect shape of your draft skirt. And this brings us back to our center strap. The center strap is gonna clip in behind the draft skirt just in front of the wheel. You come over and you pick up your center strap, you pull it through following the same procedure as all the others. In behind is where you find the clip. You peg the loop down to the ground and you simply clip your strap up. Your annex now has the perfect shape ready to attach all your walls and doors. Attaching your end walls. To attach your end walls, first make sure the fly screen is pointing out. From there, find the end of your zip line and you're gonna start at the bottom corner of your annex. Pull it in, come down, and attach your zip. 
Your zip comes up and through. Following the shape of your annex. From there, it's a simple matter of closing off your Velcro tabs. One of the great features of Europa's camper trailer is that your annex comes with an entire bucket floor. This means that no matter how bad the weather turns, you can seal yourself off in here and be safe and dry. And let's face it, you don't always want to go home just because of a little bit of rain. To put in your floor, you simply lay it out and find your Velcro line and match it up around the outside of your annex. It's a simple matter of just pushing it up. You finish your Velcro line in through the floor and the easiest way to work out which way your floor goes around is to look for the reinforced section that comes in under your stairs. Once your floor is finished, you're totally sealed, you're out of the weather. The last piece of your puzzle is your front doors. Same as your end walls, you want to ensure that the fly screen is facing out. After that, you find the end of your zip, you simply plug it in down the bottom and you zip the doors all the way up and through. All the way up over the top, forming a nice seal. And there you have it. All zipped away, safe and secure from the weather.